So this one right here is, what is that? Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I have got some fun things to chat about this week. First off, I've got some travel-y type favorites that I was using pretty much the entire time we were in San Francisco. And then I have some other things that I received from Octoly that I've been trying out this week that I've really been enjoying. Have some thoughts to share with you on those and just some fun things to chat about. So let's get to it. So for eyes, I kept it really, really basic on vacation. And I've still been wearing this eye look several times this week as well. Pretty much just this and my bronzer in my crease. That's basically what I've been doing. This is the Palladio Crushed Metallic Shadow, and this is in Stellar. It is so pretty. It's kind of similar to, well, I don't know. It's almost like a combo of um, L'Oreal's Amber Rush and Bronzed Taupe. It's kind of like almost a right in between them. I don't know which one it's closer to. Maybe Amber Rush. Honestly, it's really close to Maybelline's. Um, bad to the bronze except this is a powder shadow but it's really nice and pigmented it is one of those one shadow shadows like just literally throw your bronzer in your crease put this on i have a little bit of just pencil liner kind of smudged along my upper lash line and mascara and that's it easy peasy which is what i like to wear on vacation i like something well I bring variety on vacation sometimes, but I love small products. You'll see a couple more tiny products. So I like small makeup items. So I bring variety, but a lot of times I end up repeating the same makeup looks on vacation. So this was the eye look pretty much. For cheeks, I have several things to chat about. So first off on vacation, I was loving this blush. This is the Balms Balm Springs Long Wearing Blush. So again, tiny little product. That's why I love Ipsy bags because I get little tiny things like this, which are perfect for vacation. And I just got this recently and it's the most beautiful everyday go with everything blush color. So it was perfect for vacation because it just goes with everything. It's like a beautiful kind of peachy nude sort of a shade really really pretty basically satin matte sort of a finish to it but it looks really sweet on the cheeks i do have this on but then i have something else layered over it and then a highlighter so you can kind of see it but then it's a little bit like other things happening with it so you know it's there but also other things are there as well so this is a better representation but just beautiful peachy nude color. Love it. And I also brought this highlighter on vacation and I was loving it. I said several times to Timothy, oh my goodness, I love this highlighter I brought with me. This is the Vintage Illuminating Face Highlighter and this is in crystal pink. So I do have this on my cheekbones and then I have it on the inner corners of my eyes. It's just a gorgeous pinky highlight. Again, tiny cute little product, perfect for vacation. I almost don't want to waste it. This is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's like a, a beautiful, crystally, duochrome pink highlighter. And it really is just a beautiful formula because it's pigmented and it's a statement highlighter, but it blends really well. It's not like chunky and hard to work with. Like it, it is a thicker formula, but it's not one of those formulas that really just like sticks and doesn't blend. So it has a, a thicker kind of a formula, but it blends really well onto the face. So just a beautiful formula, gorgeous color. I love the tiny little packaging, but of course this was like a specialty Ipsy sort of packaging, but you can buy the full size um, on their website. Loved this. And then like I mentioned, when we got back from vacation, I had several things from Octoly waiting for me. So I've been trying out those since I got home. First off is this, which was way bigger than I was expecting, which was really exciting. This is the Kiko Milano Summer 2.0 Baked Bronzer. So I don't know, like, I guess I thought it was gonna be the size of a blush, but I mean, it is like a huge packaging, really pretty packaging, like a rose gold, and it's kind of like domed up and, has these like beautiful ring designs on the front. It's just really pretty packaging. So this is what it looks like. So it's a beautiful baked bronzer. So when I first, well, 
First one I noticed is the beautiful packaging. Second one I noticed is that it smells really good. It smells like the Tarte, like newer um, palettes. So like the Tartlet in Bloom, um, the like contour, circular palettes. I kind of like vanilla sort of a smell. So I noticed that about it. When I first swatched it, I was like, ooh, looked a little bit warm. And when I first put it on my face, I thought, oh, that's, it's a warm tone bronzer. And it is, I mean, for sure. But I have been wearing it nonstop since I tried it first. Like the first time I put it on, I was like, oh, this is a little bit warm. But then once I put my blush on and like had everything finished, I really like it, especially for summer. But you have to like a warm tone bronzer. If you don't like one that it's not super orangey, but it just has that little bit of like that sunlit sort of a tone to it. So to call it a summer 2.0 bronzer, I think is a really good name for it because I think it matches it. I think it like represents it well. So it's not like that cool toned contouring sort of a bronzer. It's got that kind of like sun kissed sort of a look on the skin, but really pretty blends really nicely into the skin. Did get a little bit of a sunburn in San Francisco, so don't mind my forehead. That's not contouring right here. That's a sunburn that I tried to cover up. But anyway, back to the bronzer. I like the bronzer a lot, but again, you have to like a baked bronzer and you have to like a warm tone bronzer. And I was also approved to try this. This is the Kiko Milano Summer 2.0 Baked Blush. And I got the shade 01 Natural Beach. Again, beautiful packaging to it. That gorgeous rose gold, I just love it. Now this one is smaller, it's more like a blush size. Um, it is a little bit bulky, the packaging, so that's you know maybe a negative about it just for storage. It's gonna take up a little bit more room, but it's beautiful to look at. So 01 Natural Beach. It's like a two-part sort of a baked blush. Now mine is pretty far over, so I don't know if they're all like that. I was actually excited to see that it was that way because this is more of a color that I'll get more use out of. So mine has more of that like natural, nudie sort of a tone to it because I have more of that side of the blush. But anyway, that's what it looks like. It's like a two-parter. And the left side, the like nudie side, looks a little bit more kind of like satin matte, whereas the um, darker side, the kind of rosy side, is more shimmery. So, you know, take that into consideration. It's gonna depend on like what your particular one looks like. But swirl together, it's this beautiful, kind of warm, sun-kissed, corally nude is kind of how I would describe it because it's like all those things are coming together. It's got that like warmth to it. It's got that coral tone to it because of that metallic-y, shimmery side. And then it's got that kind of like nude undertone because of the nude side. It's just really pretty. It's got that summery glow to it. Kind of like the Laura Geller um, Baked Blush and Brightens, but I like those a little bit more, the formula of them, I think. This is a really nice formula, but I just love the Laura Geller ones, so I wouldn't say that they're exactly the same. That Theirs feels almost a little bit more like, I don't know, buttery in texture. This is a nice texture. It's soft, it's a really nice texture, but it just feels different than the Laura Geller, is what I would say. But anyway, here it is on my cheeks. It's just that beautiful, summery, nudie, coral, glowy sort of a blush. It's very fun, I love it. For lips on vacation, I kept it super simple and I literally wore this every single day. This lived in my purse, it was perfect for vacation. Some of the letters have even started to wear off because it's been banging around in my purse and it's awesome, I love it. I almost wore it today but I really wanted to wear this bright fun color so just know you'll see it in the swatch and it pretty much looks pretty close to my natural lip color. Anyway, this is the Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain, and this is in 09 Gorgeous Peony. And it is just a gorgeous pinky color, like very neutral, just awesome, kind of cool tone, rosy pink. I absolutely love it. And again, that right there is really close to my natural lip color, so I would put it on, it would kind of just look like a a natural, um, glossy looking sort of a lip. Um, and then it would kind of leave a stain behind, 
but it it matched my lips pretty closely so it just gave a little bit more color um, but it was just easy is what I'm trying to say it was really low maintenance comfortable easy perfect for living in your purse perfect for traveling I love these they smell nice kind of like a I don't know watermelony sort of a scent to it some people may not like the scent but I like the scent it's a I don't know a fruity happy scent so it's got the scent to it and it's just a perfect throw it in your purse or traveling lip color. And then last favorite for the week, another goodie that I received from Octoly to get to try out are some more of the Lancome matte shakers. I was really excited to get approved for this because they had three more colors that I got to try out because I love the first one that they sent me, which is yummy pink. So this one included three different colors that I got to try out. So have them all swatched here, but this is the standout favorite for me. So let me tell you what these colors are. So this one right here is, what is that? That is Magic Orange. So the bright one is Magic Orange. This is also what I'm wearing. The middle one is Beige Vintage. Really pretty kind of like mauve um, rosy sort of a shade. And then the end one is Energy Peach. Energy Peach. That one's kind of like a neutrally more muted like version of this almost kind of like a combo of these two but like a lighter a lighter version of a combo of those two so all really pretty kind of like peachy summery shades love them so this is my standout favorite the really bright fun peach or orange which is magic orange um i think it looks more peachy on me so i think it like kind of mixes with my sort of like my natural lip color is a little bit rosy so i think it kind of like melds with that and looks a little bit more um like corally peachy versus like bright bright orange now something i did notice about these three and especially this one and the peach one i really had to mix them more because when i was first like applying it it seemed almost more glossy and sheer and i was like oh this doesn't seem quite as pigmented as Yummy Pink was, the first one that I received from them. But then I like really, really shook it. So you really have to get the little, there's a little ball in there. So you really have to shake it around. But once you really shake it around, that's when the pigment comes out and it's like super pigmented. So just know like if you get one of these, you may have to like really shake it to get it going. But then once it like has the product on the little end applicator and it's all mixed up it's super pigmented and really like very opaque so just know that so I didn't notice it quite as much with this one but maybe something about like the pigment of these has to be mixed a little bit more but it is just that beautiful like really cool formula I love the formula on these I love the packaging it's like adorable fun different sort of packaging um the applicator is a little bit it's a little bit difficult to get application like precision you'll probably want to use like a lip liner i didn't today but it would probably be better to use a lip liner so i love the packaging and i really love the formula it starts out just a little bit glossy but then it sets down really quickly and it stays so well i've seen like so many people love these and i absolutely see why they're just like super low maintenance and easy if i'd received these in time before vacation i totally would have taken one with me i don't know if it would have lived in my purse quite as much as the jordana like it just because it's you know not quite as easy as like a lip crayon is but um i still think it's like really easy and low maintenance once you have it on your lips so i love these so much they have a really nice scent to them they all kind of smell like um piece of cake i think is the name of it it's one of the first versions like not the matte shakers but the juicy shakers i think it's piece of cake is that one so it has that kind of like vanilla cakey sort of a scent these all have that kind of same scent to them so yeah really excited i got to try more shades all right guys so those are all my favorites for this week so i hope that you really enjoyed this video i did want to let you guys know that i am going to be switching up my regular upload schedule it's just become way too stressful for me to keep up with the three to four videos a week that i've been doing for 
about four years now on top of my two to three jobs I work outside of YouTube. So I am gonna be switching it up and now my regular upload schedule will be Tuesdays and Fridays and then I'll occasionally do bonus videos on the weekends for you guys. So I still have regular videos up for you guys at least two days a week, sometimes three, but it'll just be way less stressful that way and more fun. So hope you guys understand that and are still excited about the two to three videos a week. So. Let me know what you've been loving this week. Let me know that down below. Um, let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.